video, let's see another topic of the chapter and topic of matrices. The topic is invertible matrices and we have to see what do we mean by invertible matrices. Now we already know what are matrices and we know few concepts related to it. This topic is in succession to the previous topics. Let's see what the topic is and we'll be seeing a numerical illustration to the same. Let's read the theoretical part. If A is a square matrix of order M, basically I have been given a square matrix named A and the order is given to me as M. Now few people might be thinking that M means what? It means only M rows? No, it means M by M, which means M rows, M columns. As we started in case of square matrices that you don't need to specify every time order M by M. You can simply write it as order M. So, if A is a square matrix of order M, also given to me is a square matrix, another matrix which is B and the order of the B matrix is what? It is also M. You see, the B matrix also has order M, the A matrix also has order M, these both are square matrices. Then what happens is, if the condition satisfies that AB, that is the product of A and B is equal to BA is equal to an identity matrix of the same order, then I say that the matrix B is called as inverse of A and A is invertible. I repeat again, suppose I have been given two matrices, both of the same order, both are square matrices. When you take the product and by commutativity, you see that AB, the result of AB is same as if you take the result of BA and that is equal to an identity matrix the matrices are said to be invertible and you can say that A is the inverse of B and B is the inverse of A. For proper understanding, let's see a numerical illustration. Suppose I have a matrix A and that matrix is given to me as 2, 3, 2, 2. You see that it is a square matrix. Why? Because the order is 2 by 2, 2 rows, 2 columns. Suppose I have another matrix B and the matrix is such that the elements are minus 1, 3 by 2, 1, minus 1. And you see again, there are how many rows? 2. There are how many columns? 2. So it is a square matrix. Now, take the product AB. AB means what? You need to write first A, then B. Write first A, 2, 3, 2, 2. Write B and then multiply. So minus 1, 3 by 2, 1, minus 1. Let's see what is the result. Right? We'll be seeing the result. First row, first column. So that is first row, first column, then first row, second column, second row, first column, second row, second column, right? So 2 into minus 1 is minus 2 and 3 into 1 is 3. So minus 2 plus 3 is 1, right? Now first row and second column, 2 into 3 by 2 is what? 3. 3 into minus 1 is minus 3. So 3 minus 3 is 0. Simple multiplication, you know how to do it, right? 2 into minus 1 is minus 2. 2 into 1 is 2. Minus 2 plus 2 is 0. Last but not the least, I have 2 into 3 by 2 is 3. 2 into minus 1 is minus 2. 3 minus 2 is 1. You see what is the result? The result is basically an identity matrix. So I write it as IM, which is I2. But this is the result of AB. What about finding BA? If you find BA and you see that AB is equal to BA, definitely you have it equal to 1001 identity matrix and then the matrices are invertible. So after finding AB, my task is to find the next thing which is BA. How to find BA? First write B then A. B is minus 1, 3 by 2, 1 minus 1, minus 1, 3 by 2, 1 minus 1. Multiply by the A matrix which is 2, 3, 2, 2. Remember? Right? You can cross verify it is 2, 3, 2, 2. First row, first column, first row, second column. First row, first column. Right? Let's do it together. Minus 1 into 2, minus 2. 3 by 2 into 2, 3. So plus 3 minus 2 is 1. Next. Minus 1 into 3 because we are going from first row, second column. Minus 1 into 3 is minus 3. 3 by 2 into 2 is 3, so it is minus 3 plus 3 which is 0. Next, 1 into 2, 2, minus 1 into 2, minus 2, 2 minus 2 is 0. Last but not the least, we are left with the last element, 
1 into 3, 3, minus 1 into 2, 2, of minus, so 3 minus 2 is 1. Again, you find it as 1, 0, 0, 1, which is I2. Now, see the results again. AB is equal to I2. BA is equal to I2. That means what? That means we have got something. AB is equal to BA is equal to IM. And when we got this result, we know that we have some invertible matrices in front of us. That means A is the inverse of B and B is the inverse of A. So suppose you are asked to find out the inverse of A. You just check it. You find this condition happening. So yes, the inverse of A is B, which is minus 1, 3 by 2, 1, minus 1. Similarly, the inverse of B is what? It is A, which is 2, 3, 2, 2.